But what I'm trying to get at here is that he's putting out the exact talking points of media matters that on record is the White House, is the White House. Direct conduit from the White House telling them what to do and say. MSNBC, CNN, I understand saying I'm behind the Boston bombing and I'm deeply racist and, you know, all the rest of it. But to have Glenn Beck doing it, and I know what this is. He knows we're getting on affiliates all over the country. The show's exploding right now. Most of the stations we're on carry Glenn Beck. And he knows, because I've talked to some program directors, that there's little comments and things going on from the people in his office, not even a syndicator, premier, about me and, 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 and how I'm a bad show to have. And this has been going on behind the scenes. And then a lot of times I'm on live and Glenn Beck's on at night. He doesn't like that. He's an egomaniac. My show ends up getting picked up on Sunday live. While we do that show, people get a taste of it. Then they put us on at night, and then invariably we end up going on live. And, and I mean, they literally replace Rush Limbaugh with us in areas of the country and get better ratings. And I'm not, I, I never had this slot to go up against Rush Limbaugh. I didn't want this slot. I had a nighttime show that GCN made me 17 years ago change to a daytime slot. And I said, I think it's a horrible idea. I don't want to go up against Rush Limbaugh. I need to go after stations at night. There's no way stations are going to dump Limbaugh for me. And they said, you're so good. His name was uh, Michael Trudeau, and, and Ted Anderson still runs the network, but Michael Trudeau was like, I'm going to put you on up against him. You're going to take over. Well, I guess he was about 15 years you know, uh, early on that, but the point is that I, I want Rush Limbaugh to be on every TV station in the country because his ideas are a lot better than what the control left puts out. I want Glenn Beck... To, to have 50 million listeners. I want Glenn Beck to sell 100 million books. I want Glenn Beck to have long days, pleasant nights. Because I agree with most of what he has to say. But man, you know, it's a big deal when somebody says you're a racist with no proof. It's a big deal. When they say that, uh, that you want to overthrow the U.S. government and have violence to, you know, five, six, seven, eight million people a day. I mean, that, that's really meant to hurt me. I mean, I don't care when MSNBC says it with half a million viewers and people know they're a pack of liars. That's a big deal when Glenn Beck does that to me. And I don't know what he thinks I'm going to do. I mean, I, I'm not going to take that line down. So, I just, we've got such bigger issues with Russia, huge issues with Obama trying to get the guns, trying to bust the borders, overrunning the Constitution, that I'll probably just let him walk all over me. But at a certain level, man, when people don't want you to be on the air and they want to get you off stations and they'll lie about you to do it, and I'm not even in competition with him, and Rush Limbaugh's done nothing bad to me. He's, he said snide things about me a few times when he didn't agree with something somebody wrote on my website, and that's fine. I don't agree with everything on there, but a lot of times he covers our stories. He doesn't really give us credit. But I happen to know from behind the scenes some folks that play golf with him that he actually agrees with us more than he disagrees and listens to the show sometimes. Limbaugh, we're in competition with Rush Limbaugh, directly up against him. And he doesn't do this kind of crap. And, I mean, this is dangerous, folks, to have somebody on the air saying that you want to overthrow the government, want a violent overthrow. We already played clips like that two weeks ago. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this today. But, you know, I dare somebody like Glenn Beck to say that to my face. That's all I've got to say. Because I got a family, and I've already put myself in the crosshairs. And, and this is Benedict Arnold type stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is textbook Benedict Arnold crap. And our affiliates out there who listen, the program directors and owners, they know what I say on air, and they're standing beside us and supporting us and not dumping our show back. Go make your movies. Ghost write your books. Do whatever you're going to do, man. I'm not jealous or envious of you, okay? I understand until 10 years ago, you were, or 12 years ago, you were a shock jock that did shock trash, you know, type radio. Howard Stern wannabe stuff. I don't care. I understand you picked up my show and duplicated it and made it more palatable. I understand that you're obsessed with me. I understand that. I get it, okay? But listen, I'm happy for you to imitate me and to take my knowledge. That's the whole point of this show.
I want to beat the globalists. So I'm going to tell you again, stop now. Stop trying to set me up with Rachel Maddow in the White House. You may work with them. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Wide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Who has the perfect piece of gear for your bushcraft pack or bug out bag? Canteenshop.com. Want to be able to start a fire in any weather? Canteenshop.com. Need a well built handcrafted knife that'll be passed down for generations? Get to Canteenshop.com for the best selection of high quality hand picked gear from over 20 small U.S. businesses and big name brands to bring you the best that the bushcraft survival world has to offer. Canteenshop.com. What's missing? What's missing from your kit? How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Everybody knows that the dice are loaded Everybody rolls with their fingers crossed Everybody knows the war is over Everybody knows the good guys lost The truth is the globalists are gearing up for a civil war in this country They're going to start and a lot of libertarian and conservative talk show hosts are scared, and they're going to join with the globalists in the takeover of this country. And they're going to demonize anybody who stands up for freedom in the Constitution, and they're going to salute the black uniforms as I and others like Ron Paul are hauled off to prison.
and as Rand Paul is just, um, discredited and destroyed. I don't think it's going to get to that because the American people aren't going to be intimidated and called racist and called terrorist. Uh, that's not going to work. You know, calling anybody that supports land rights or anybody that doesn't want free speech zones or snipers pointing guns at peaceful protesters with tasers and police dogs. If you don't like that, you're a domestic terrorist, you're an insurgent, you're an extremist, and yes, you're a racist if they can find anybody involved who talks in a hillbilly dialect. That's how all this propaganda works. And a lot of people get scared by it. And a lot of Republican leadership wants to continue the land grabs. They want to continue the bid rigging. They want to continue the no-bid contracts. They want to continue business as usual. Well, business as usual is collapsing this country. And we either change course now or we go off the edge into oblivion. Now, I'm going to talk with Knight briefly about what he heard Beck say last night. Uh, and I guess we're going to dig through the, the, the video and audio files of it yesterday and post it just to document what we're saying. But it doesn't matter. A lot of you probably heard it uh, saying that we want violence and that we're basically covering up the racism of Bundy and that we, we were out there at the ranch two weeks ago when he said all this, when we all now know this was taped Saturday and not by our reporters. And, of course, we reported on it. I mean, it's one thing to say Bundy could be a hillbilly or maybe racist. I don't think that's the case. He's certainly a fossil, though. And uh, I think the, some of the stuff he said could be taken as offensive. I mean, like, there's black people out here. I, I'll bring one in the house and got them around here. I mean, it, it's, I mean, it's just literally out in the middle of nowhere. It'd be like, I brought a Yankee in here. I saw one of them. City slicker. I mean, these are folks in the desert, seven generations. So, uh, I mean, I think the Bundys are good people overall. And I think he just says what he's thinking. Uh, but compared to aborting 52% of black people, Compared to all the other evil that's going on around here, we're letting them change the subject off of what almost became a new Tiananmen Square out there in the desert onto a statement. And by the way, we have the unedited statements of Clive and Bundy up on Infowars.com where he said everything he said about, I want to help black folks in the Spanish. Nobody, you know, I don't want to hear they don't pay taxes and work hard. You know, it's wrong. They need their liberty and we don't need to reverse the changes that were made during the 60s for liberty. We don't need to go back, and that's what this big government's doing. We've got the full video up on Infowars.com and the transcript, so now I see what he's saying about it being out of context. Because when I had him on yesterday, because we were trying to cover it up, you know, that's why we we're the first to re recover it and get a response from him, the first, the first that we know of. I think it was one of the radio show had him on before us that I saw on drugs. So I guess the second. The point is, within hours of this breaking in the New York Times, the day it broke, we have him on and are, and are, and are you know, sitting there saying we don't agree with the way this had been spun and making sure this wasn't what he really stood for. And then we've already got MSNBC, CNN, and Glenn Beck, and Media Matters, and Vanity Fair saying that I'm with this guy and that I want violent overthrow. That's not what Bundy wants, and that I'm a racist. I mean, it's just really, really creepy to have this type of stuff going on. And now it turns out he was telling the truth. People go, well, he did make the cotton picking point. Yes, he was saying that that was not in the context of the quote. And now we have the full quote, and it turns out he was telling the truth. So now that you see it in full context, clearly this is like, my great-grandfathers, I talked to my parents about this last night, did not talk like this. But I've always run into hillbillies in the middle of nowhere that do talk like this. And they're actually not racist. Uh, they are literally out of the time machine. But there's bad things if you go back in a time machine. There's also good things. They're saying no to the feds and no to Tiananmen Square because they're so old-fashioned that's the good part of their old-fashionedness, is to be straight shooting and to stand up against tyranny. But then it's like talking to somebody who got off a time machine from 150 years ago. It sounds really weird to modern trendies and metrosexuals and everybody else, and quite frankly, myself included. Because he's such a straight shooter and tells you exactly what he's thinking, no political correctness. But wouldn't you rather that than the new religion of political correctness? Now, when we come back, the really big news that this is distracting from, this Bundy thing's becoming like the Malaysian airliner. Russia wants to start World War III, Ukrainian Prime Minister.
We're on the march. 